Mount Etna is Europe's highest and most active volcano. It's been growing for around 500,000 years, and is in the midst of a series of eruptions that began in 2001. It's experienced a variety of eruption styles, including violent explosions and voluminous lava flows. More than 25% of Sicily's populations lives on Etna slopes, and it's the main source of income for the island, both from agriculture due to its rich volcanic soil and tourism. Etna's eruptions have been documented since 1500 BC, when eruptions drove people living in the eastern part of the island to migrate to its western end. The volcano has experienced more than 200 eruptions since then, although most are moderately small. Etna's most powerful recorded eruption was in 1669, when explosions destroyed part of the summit and lava flows from a fissure on the volcano's flank reached the sea more than 10 miles away. This eruption was also notable as one of the first attempts to control the path of flowing lava. Scientists have established the whole structure on the Italian island of Sicily is edging in the direction of the Mediterranean, at a rate of 14 mm per year. The UK-led team says the situation will need careful monitoring, because it may lead to increased hazards at Etna in the future. Lead author Dr John Murray said the following, I would say there is currently no cause for alarm but it's something we need to keep an eye on especially to see if there's an acceleration in this motion. The Open University geologist has spent almost half a century studying this volcano. In that time he's placed a network of high precision GPS stations around the mountain to monitor its behaviour. This instrumentation is sensitive to millimetric changes in the shape of the volcanic cone, and with 11 years of data it's now obvious that the mountain is moving in an east-south-east direction. Essentially, the volcano is sliding down a very gentle slope of 1 to 3 degrees. The reason this is happening is because it's sitting on an underlying platform of weak sediments. Dr Murray's team has conducted lab experiments to illustrate how this works. The group believes it's the first time that basement sliding of an entire volcano has been observed. On the human scale, a movement of 14 mm per year will seem very small but geological investigations elsewhere in the world have shown that extinct volcanoes that display this kind of trend can suffer catastrophic failures. Stresses can build up that lead eventually to devastating landslides. The thing to watch is if in 10 years the time of rate of movement has doubled. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.